Hi everyone, and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to dynamically highlight the maximum and minimum bars in a chart in Excel. In our example, we have the test scores for a group of students. We want to create a chart where we show all the test scores, but highlight the top and bottom scores. This may seem like a trivial task you might assume that you simply need to change the colour of the maximum and minimum scores. However, it's not as simple as it seems, because if the top and bottom scores change, then the wrong scores will be highlighted. To start, we have our group of students and we've added their respective test scores. Next, we want to identify whether a given test score is the maximum score. To do this, we can use the if function. We're saying if the test score is equal to the maximum score, then what we want to do is show the test score. Whereas if this condition does not hold, then we just want to show a blank cell. Before we close brackets, we're going to add absolute references to this range here to ensure it remains static as we drag this cell down. As you can see, it's showing only one maximum score, which corresponds to Julie's score. We can now copy the formula we just created and apply it to the minimum column. The only change we'll make is instead of using the max function, we'll use the min function. As with the maximum column, in the minimum column, we only show the test score that corresponds to John's score, as this is the bottom score. Finally, we want to show all the other test scores that are in the middle. In other words, not the top or the bottom scores. Here we can again use the if function and we'll combine it with the and function. What we want to write is that if both the maximum and minimum columns are blank, then we'll show the test score. If not, then we'll leave this cell blank as well. As you can see, we're now accounting for all test scores, the top and bottom ones, and all the ones in between. The reason we've created three separate columns is that when we turn to creating the chart, we're going to apply three separate color formats, one for the maximum score, one for the minimum score, and one for all the other scores. To create our charts, we'll first select all of the students, hold down the control key, and then select the three new columns that we've created. We'll then go into the insert tab, select the charts icon, click more column charts, and then we'll select this option here. Therefore, Excel has highlighted the top and bottom scores, which correspond to Julie and John, in a different colour. We can now change the colour of these top and bottom scores to green and red respectively to make it a bit clearer. Now, when we update the top and bottom test scores, you can see that the bars update correctly. You may be wondering what would happen if we have two equal top or bottom scores. If we assign a score of 100 
to Jack and Julie, you can see that both are highlighted. Therefore, Excel is recognizing that we have two maximum values, which is quite clever. For comparison purposes, I will now quickly create a chart the traditional way, selecting just the student column and the test scores. Next, I will manually change the color formatting of the maximum and minimum scores. Now, when we update the scores, you can see that the second chart doesn't update, while the chart on the left overcomes this issue. So that's how you can dynamically highlight the top and bottom bars in a chart in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for further Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.